I met him. He he saw my passion and then he started um, you know, taking me to come and do classes. And so like vocal classes, he'll come play some things on the piano, trying to teach me how to stay on key and things like that. And then um, that's how I started, you know, developing the skill. Some people I said they are born with it. Some of us had to develop, you know, the skill. And um, you know, I started learning and then eventually got everything. But during my late teenage years, that's when the passion for it, it grew even stronger. I was like, this is not, it's not just about singing. I know that the Lord has called me for so much more than just singing music. Um, you know, he wants me to touch lives with this music. He wants me to be able to do so much more. And um, professionally, I went into the studio and started my first recording around when I came to the US in 2011. Um, so, but it's somewhere during my late teenage years, because from there on, I had pastors who believed and saw something greater in me that I did not even see at the time. Um, but the conscious decision for me, I would say started in like 2012. So till now it would be about eight years, but it's been there, um, but consciously taking it upon myself, I'd say, you know what, I need to take this mantle and forge ahead with it, I would say 2012. So now, so about eight years. Wow, but you know, but all, all this why you know when when you are told uh, um, you when you feel like I can I can't sing I don't think I can I don't see myself singing. Um, what has that been for you? But you, you probably you just have the passion. Of, but we, we, what people are saying around you does that make any any difference? Um, so I have always been someone that's very self motivated. Um. So, you know, receiving negative comments from those around me wasn't a thing that would stop me. Um, I knew what I want, I was doing, I knew what I loved doing. I'm like, it doesn't affect you that the, the fact that I have a, you know, my voice wasn't that great. So to me, it was more of, I took it more as a motivation for me to even go and learn more. And so I would be pressuring that pianist, his name was Joseph Dinka. Um, I'll be pressuring him. I'm like, when are we having our next session? You know, to me, it was it was more of a motivation for me to learn and learn and 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 prove of, on myself. So um, I would say that was actually a blessing for them to to say those to me because it pushed me to push myself to learn and to perfect of my skill. Oh wow, yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah. so how long how long does it take? You know, uh, um you to get into that place whereby you um you are just uh start you started you know uh pro, you know singing uh getting confident okay are you at yeah. some point in time in the in the in, uh, being accepted into the church choir or you know you know before you get into the studio right yes i was i was part of the church choir back in cameroon um my first time going to see was here in the u.s but I, I got into the church choir. I mean, um, in secondary school, I don't know if that's how they call it in Nigeria. So in secondary school, when I just came, they asked us to pick clubs. I don't know if you, you have that in Nigeria too. You know, you have to be part of like have social music, drama club and all of that. And so it was mandatory for us to pick at least three. And so music was, um, music was singing club was one of them that I picked. And I met some friends there. We formed a little group. And in that group, I was the one who was the pioneer person and pushing everyone else. But then I had no voice compared to everyone else. Uh, <laughs> it was it was rather interesting. You know, um, I, I was always pushing. I remember someone came on my social on my YouTube and commented on there and said, I knew you from back in the day. And I lived in a, a little quarter. Um, you would always pass going to church and singing in the top of your voice. I never knew that, you know, you would eventually you know, become a singer and, how, and here I am watching your songs on TV. I'm so, I'm so happy that, you know, you pursued that. So, you know, it's, it was a journey indeed. Yeah. What about, what about your, 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 your minister, I mean, your pastor, parent, when you talk, when you're, when you, do you have any challenge with your parents saying, oh, I want to go into the mini music ministry, or I want to start singing, you know, because I know, Back in those days, they or normally uh, see musicians as um, bigger. Yeah. Back, back. Because yeah. I, I, I know about that. They, they always tell us um, you can you you are you just gonna you know, resort yourself to be a beggar and live on people. You know, you know, just like that. So, have you 
uh, do you suffer like uh, suffer any kind of a, uh, a restriction or, or any kind of a pushback from uh, any, any any family or parent or friends? Oh, um, not on the contrary. No, I I was blessed to have family. You know, um, support me. They have been very, very supportive of what I'm doing and um, wanting me to just go and you know pursue my my dreams and leave out my calling. Um, I mean, they they strongly believe that this is what God has placed in me and um, uh, and what God has called me to do. And so they've always been strongly behind me. The only thing was uh, make sure if you're doing this, be very successful because we don't want you to be broke. <laughs> 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 we want you to still do this and be the top so that you know you'll be able to provide for the family as well and that and so um they they have been very supportive and um my one my one of my pastors the very i would say one of the pastors the very first pastors that believed in me um reverend samuel indeed god bless you so much um he would always have these programs and um he would always invite me and make sure that i'm there you know to, to come and minister on there and back then you know i that, that was, I would say, one of the, like I said, you know, he's one of the very first persons that pastors really, that really believed in me and gave me that platform to be able to um, exercise my gift and my calling, you know, which God has called me to. So, um, yeah, I, I had that. I'd had that support system. Now, when, when, you, when, you, when you say you, you, you have, you know, some people that, that kind of motivated you to uh, fulfill that kind of passion, in getting to a business or getting into a, a ministry, you know, at what point in time did you feel that God is calling me to do this? You know, I remember, Bab, 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 you know, Bible says Moses, God called Moses, but he felt I'm not eloquent, I can't even talk. So is this is this disqualify uh, this, uh, uh, disqualification in himself that mm -hmm. I I am not able to do I don't think I see myself to be to be able to do this. So meanwhile you can why don't you use Aaron and you know God said you are the chosen vessel. But for you at what point you do you feel uh, this is uh, uh, I think God is calling me to do this. Truly, Pastor, I would say that before before I got to that point, you know, there was so there were so many ups and downs um, of me believing in myself, on believing in myself, believing in myself, on believing in myself. Because you know, you do something, you do something right, and then um, you get those voices sometimes out there say, "Oh, you're doing well," and then you're like, "Okay, you know, more motivation." And then you do something doesn't come out the way you plan, or the, you know it doesn't go the way you you want it to go, and then you're like, "Am I really called for this thing?" Um, <laughs> you know, there's been several times that I've you know um, doubted myself and said to myself, "But Lord, there's I mean, there's already Sinash and there's already Natani Basi, there's already you know this person, Grace Fulu or Mr. Bumi that that do all of everybody." I'm like, "There's already some of these other people. Why why do I have to add myself there? Like just but." Um, it took a while for me to really know that God has called us each in a unique purpose. You know, um, the things that I will do, um, Sina should not be able to do. The things that she will do, I will not be able to do. The, the population that God has called me to bless is probably not the same people that he has called, you know, that she has access to and she can bless. I have access to and I can bless. There's so much work to be done. And he has called each and every one of us and put it. Um, uniqueness in each and every one of us and giving us a specific place, area, a geographical area that we each um, has to have to function and, and get the work done. Um, and so I would say that, um, you know, sometime around like 2000 and um, uh, 2000 and well, 2012, right, when I when I decided to, you know, take that bold step that that to me, I because I've been writing songs, you know, so many songs and I just kept keeping them and saying, maybe this isn't what God has called me. This isn't what God has called me. But I came to that realization that, you know what, God God has really called me for this. If he did not call me, he would not be giving me the songs. He would not have, you know, sent people my way to come and push me, encourage me, help me build on myself, mentor me, um, you know, and, and 
you know, when I would sing, you know, people would come and say, you know, I was blessed. I came here and I was so depressed. And then you sang the song and then I got so relieved or I sang the song and um, I was able to, you know, wash more on a deeper level or get a more understanding. This helped me to get into the presence of God and all of that, that all those things were confirmation for me. Yes. Uh, I, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to, I, I want to uh, watch something that I I saw. I, I, I love to hear this sister say, sing about. Uh, I, try, I'm, I want to try and play one of our, our song that, that comes with testimony. And uh, why I'm still trying to get that song ready, I want to, to, uh, to tell me what exactly brought you to the level what, what what how did you get the in that inspiration about that song testimony so um i just thank god for god's spirit um uh, i was working with one of my friends pastor joy uh, right there <laughs> so we're working on this i i, I met her not too long <clears throat> i had a a, a a a a little portion of a song um that, I, that the spirit of God laid in my heart. And so we went to rehearse um, because back then we were serving when I was in Cincinnati, Ohio, because um, I recently just moved to Texas. And so we're serving and I, we went to rehearse. I said, and I told her, I said, I have this little part and I started singing it. And all of a sudden she came in with another part into the song and that's, it's part of the album. It's called No Other Name. <clears throat> And she sang it and we were able to just blend, you know, God, God really puts people together. Sometimes he'll give you part of a vision and another person comes with part and it makes the whole net, you know, like you said, we are part of the body. And so she came with, I came with part and she came with part and we made the song. And I said, that, let's go to Texas. My, my producer is in, in Houston. So let's go, let's record this. But in the, the time of us working on that song, we had more songs come. Um, and so we said, okay, let's make an album. But the steam money, um, I was, I was, I was in the, um, in the restroom and I was taking a shower and I was just so grateful. I was thinking about all the things that the Lord had done, bringing Pastor Joy to my life. We are about to go record all the songs and all of, you know, all this goodness. And I started humming this, you know, he has given me a testimony. And, you know, he has turned around my history. But I had some, some other words were there, but then when I met Pastor Joey, fixed it, but it was, you know, something in that line. And I just picked up my phone and I just recorded it, you know, I recorded the sample and then we were able to work on it completely together when we met. However, you know, um, like that, you know, I'm so, I'm so grateful to God's spirit because, you know, I was in that spirit of thanksgiving and that spirit of gratitude and, and all of that came to me. So I give God glory. Wow. Yeah, yeah, because uh, I why we are you see something about uh, how do you get your songs? How do you most uh, actually get your songs? You know, uh, before you before you produce them. Yeah, um, and and sometimes it's been I have actually slept and received uh, at least a couple songs in in the dreams, in, you know, in visions, and I would be singing some songs. Then I wake up singing them. I have to immediately write them. In the past, I would just wake up and I say, I say, what was that I was singing? And I would let it go. But then I have learned the hard way that, you know, when the spirit of God gives you something like that, you know, you, you take it seriously. And so I wake up and I write it down or I write it down and I record, you know, now we have the phones that you can actually record so that I can be able to remember. Um, and the times when it's been a situation that I'm going through um, that I'm able to write from that, um, that, um, that uh direction it's been you know i see someone going through something or something is happening around me and i write from that that point of view so um yeah and and i've along the line i've met people who are great writers as well that i'm able to collaborate with to write you know great songs and i'm so grateful for that opportunity okay let me let me see if i can just play this song right now yeah, yeah. There's no way that you can come in contact with my God and he will not turn your life around or change your life for good. I want you to be ready to receive something from God for he will supply all your needs.
according to his riches and glory. Hey. My God has turned my life around, put a new song in my mouth. Come and join me, praise his name. He has been so good to me. Jehovah turned my life around, put a new song in my mouth. Come and join me, praise his name. He has been so good to me. He has given me a testimony. He has turned around my history. He has given me a new story. Come and join me, make we naptory. He has given me a testimony. He has turned around my history. He has given me a new story. That's, 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 that's Sister Pandit, Minister Pandita Njo uh, uh, Echo, right? If I'm not mistaken. Uh, I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed to, to have you back on the platform. I think you are, you are on mute already. So I just want, I just want to uh, say something about that, that, that video. Uh, that video came out, uh, I think, uh, 2000. 2019, right? Yes, yes. Uh, the, the video came out 2019, right? Yes, it did came out 2019. Oh, okay. So, uh, uh, we, uh, is, that a, is that a collaboration with someone or? Collaboration with Pastor Joy. Um, uh, she's a Cameroonian artist. She's based in San Antonio, Texas. Um, it's so, it's God, God is, <laughs> She just now corrected me. I'm sorry. 2020? I couldn't. Even, oh, yes, yes. Early 2020. I would say 2019 because it was originally intended for 2019. But um, it, it was early 2020. But the audio, we released the audio back in 2018. I think it was December 31st, 2018. And the, the full album was 2019. Then the audio, the video of this particular song was early 2020. Yeah, but it was originally intended for late 2019, but we were able to get it out in 2020. Wow. So yes, thank you so much, Pastor Joy, for that correction. Yeah, because I just want, I just want to thank God because number one, um, uh, I've seen you know uh, the first time I met you, uh, that should be 2017, and uh, yes, yes, 2017, and I remember uh, coming down and. Uh, the kind of fire that you came down with that day, that some something busted in me, and I said, "This this woman is going is going all around the world," and I, I it's a privilege meeting you during that time. And I remember you came back uh, the for, for the following year, two thousand and eighteen, uh, mm -hmm. as our actually guest artist uh, during that time to us. Well, and I, I I thank God for your for your life. After that time. You know, I, I and I realized most people um, that I call that, that, that you know uh, among the camera probably you be the first Cameroonian um, gospel artist that I probably apart from the one that I, I if I want to Google them online I don't really know much much of them. I want to ask you, how is the gospel music, you know, getting so much fame and coming big in Cameroon? 
so um yeah we 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 are nowhere like nigeria but we are getting somewhere <laughs> um <laughs> So Joy can also testify because I know she's on, she's watching this right now. Um, you know, when when um, people ask me where I'm from, people sometimes assume that I'm from maybe Nigeria or Ghana. And then when I say Cameroon, they ask me, like, Cameroon has gospel artists or gospel music. I'm like, yes, we do. <laughs> you know, um, it's, we are still growing. We are, <clears throat> it's not, um, like I said, there's no way where Nigeria is or Ghana or South Africa, but we are growing. Um, and, um, you know, in the past people have, you know, we, we learned and grew up with Nigerian music, you know, or Congolese gospel music. And, you know, now we are, we are, we are taking upon ourselves and it's, it can be very challenging, you know, that people don't know anything about, um, gospel music in Cameroon, but, um, that's why we, we are grateful for opportunities like this and opportunities of working with you, Pastor, um, Femi. And you know, people from Nigeria now can get to know us and know that Cameroon also has gospel music and gospel music musicians. And um, we are grateful for all the support that is coming in, and we hope that we get to get more of that, you know, in the future. So yeah, yeah. and and I, there was something I was going to mention about you know that song testimony. Um, before I forget, it just came to my mind because, like I earlier said, we had intent. It, it was it was the intention that we released that song late of 2019 but it rather came early this year 2020 i think around february and we all know how this year has been it's been really challenging and it doesn't look like a testimony but you know scripture says you know the power of life and death is in our tongue and we speak the things that you know we want for them to happen to, uh, to us and so even though other people are crying even though People say there's a casting down. We, we, the children of God, say there's a lifting up. And this year, even though it might be something else for other people, but for us, children of God, and those that believe in the restoration and and um, the restoring power of the Lord and the preserving power of the Lord, we say it's a testimony, a year of testimony for us. And we, we speak that, and that's what we claim, and that's what we believe in, and that's what's going to happen for us. Amen. 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 And I, and when you look at that. That word, that song, testimony. Um, I'm just going to add this to it. It's indeed a testimony because no matter what happens in this year, um, uh, God has blessed you. God has blessed us. God yes. has kept every one of us alive. Yeah, there are people that are, that that, we, that 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 lost their loved one. That, um, that. Some even died. Some are still in the hospital. Some could not even recover from what has happened in this year. But out of it all, oh, God has still. So it's a it's a testimony indeed. And one of the things that I just want people to understand, you know, about uh, uh, Cameroonian song, could it be a challenge? Because maybe because Cameroon Cameroon or Cameroonians have. Two, lang two different languages, or, or maybe because of either, either be a Francophone or uh, or the English speaking part of it. So, which part of Cameroon are, are you? So, I'm originally from the English part. I'm originally from the English part. And yes, it can be challenging because uh, I, I can say for myself, you know, I grew up in the, <clears throat> in the English part. And when I grew up there, I Cameroon has 10 regions and eight of them are French, two is English. And, um, you know, growing up in the English part, even though everything on the TV is French, but I still did not really understand. I didn't know how to speak French like that until I moved to the English and uh, to the French part. That's when I learned French. And those in the French region too, you know, they would speak so much French and they don't know as much English, you know, um, as compared to if they were to move to the English region, they would face a lot of like challenges, you know, as far as languages. So I think that too can be like, that, that too is some form of obstacle because you have the English region, which is just two of us, two, you know, English rich speaking regions. And so when you're singing in English, the French people can barely understand what you're saying. And so you, it's like, you're limited to just ministering to those people. Language can become a barrier in that sense. And then the French people, you know, you're ministering in French and the English person doesn't really understand. And then there's that barrier. And so I think that sometimes there is that, but you know, music too can be very, if you open your spirit to it, because at times that people sing in different language, like I could sing the Yoruba songs, you know, 
Um, not because I'm Yoruba, but then when sometimes you open your spirit, you listen to a song, you're like, I don't know the words truly, but I know this, so I can feel the spirit of the song is so powerful. So when you open your spirit like that, it becomes easy. So but people have to still get to that <laughs> that place. Yeah, because that, that that reminds me um when uh, the first time you came and uh, I was talking, this lady, this lady will not might not be a Nigerian. I mean, must, must, cannot be a Cameroonian because you can say you uh, you could sing Nigerian song easily. And uh, just like uh, same thing, same thing with your friend um, Emanuela, and you know that sing it, it, it just kind of song easily like that. But question that I want to ask you is that: Have you ever thought about having French songs in your album? Oh um, yes, my very first um, single that I released had part of French in it. Um, so yes and then um currently i'm working on a french song so yes we do um i had had this thing coming coming can you still hear me yes yes yeah okay because i know that sometimes incoming calls come then it messes with the audio but yes i'm currently working on that my french you know since leaving yaoundé which is the capital of cameroon and it's french um it's a french speaking zone it's been 10 years here. I, I can say that my French is not as good as it used to be, but you know. Yeah, because I remember I, I know I, I like to hear um some of some of those songs. And as as you said earlier, it's does, it does not matter how uh, what you are singing, when the spirit of God rests upon that song, people will yeah. still sing that song no matter what. For example, yeah. I like to hear, I like to sing some South African song, even though I don't know, I don't know what they are singing, but I know they, they are not, they are not cussing anybody, anybody out. They are, they are worshiping. I have uh, uh, this, I don't know if you know, uh, Benjamin Dube and uh, all other, other musicians that, that, that sings along with him. Same thing with other, uh, other people from Ghana. I, 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 I know a lot of people, uh, John, uh, John, um, uh, John Cena from Ghana is, is a, is a kind of a, a um, musician that I also respect so much, and uh, because of that, uh, when we look at our, I, I think we flow more better in in our own dialect. We connect more in our dialect when we sing when we work, when we sing in our own dialect compared to when we uh, want to we want to feel or want to just focus on particular section. Or I, I, I let me sing English because I know I know people. Uh, everybody, everybody will, will will follow me on that. Maybe God is gonna call, God, God might not be calling you to follow that kind of you know that might not be your call. But if you follow if you follow the kind of pattern that God has given to you, you you, you would you soon realize that definitely you will carry people along. You will bless people because the, the work of the minister of the gospel is just to get message pass message across to people. Not because of what other people, what I need to gain, you know, in quote, you know, just like that. But even though the blessing will follow, but your 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 passion is to evangelize. Yes, yes. Now, so I, so I I, I believe uh, uh, if people here, if you if you probably bring more, uh, uh, if you add French into your into your into your, uh, you know, you will definitely get get into, get uh, other other uh, francophone uh, phone people to as well and. Uh, oh. I, I can tell you, uh, that's, that would be another way for people like us to learn that song. <laughs> definitely, we will sing that song. And that's a, if you can sing Igbo song, and people will see, you know, I've, I've seen you singing Igbo song or Yoruba song. And uh, even though you cannot speak either of those languages, but yes. yeah, you still sing, when it comes to singing, the power comes yes. and you will still you will sing them very well. You can, be, you, you can trust me that definitely. When your when your song comes out in French, we will sing it to as well. Exactly. All right. So Amen. With, with with that, I believe uh, God. This is this is a season that God is about actually advertising Cameroonian musicians and go, gospel artists as well. You know, Amen. because That's I know true. there are a lot of them that are out there. That are. Mm -hmm. lot of, I was watching my Facebook one day. I can't remember the name of the guy. That, uh something cheese something like that that, that trying to uh open i mean organize a concert which you are involved for as well in uh is it Bermuda or uh, in, in cameroon 
uh, the, that was the concert that, that was supposed to uh, they supposed to do in that place. And yeah. that the day I saw that guy, I I said yes, these are the kind of people that I love to see. These are the kind of people that I love to move, you know, move well because of their passion, the gift that they have. They want to really release it out out there. And uh, and I pray God will continue to advertise your ministry. God will continue mm -hmm. to advertise your 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 work. Your mm -hmm. that music will go all over the world in the mm -hmm. mighty name of Jesus. But I want you to encourage somebody this moment who also looking or thinking, I wish I have, I, I, I wish I could sing. But they know they have this knot in them. They feel like I want to sing, but they, they can't see the talent. They can't see the gift. They can't see the voice. Because of what you went through and what our God has brought you this far. What will you say to those people? Um, so, you know, talents and talents you can you can work on them and you can build on them. If you don't have it, you can learn it. No, you know, nobody is born. Let me say, a pianist, somebody who plays the piano knows how to play the piano today. It wasn't born from their mother's womb and they started playing the piano. No, they had to learn these things. So, talents you can learn, you can learn and unlearn and relearn. So. You know, put yourself in a place where you train and you and you work on yourself. I remember this um, this quarantine season has been a season for me learning a lot. Um, thank God for my friend Pastor Joy as well, and 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 Minister Emanuela. Um, we have been it's been a season of just learning. You know, we've all been indoors, and so we've been taking online classes and online lectures. You know, just trying to improve on ourselves and work on ourselves. And you know, there's there's never an end to knowledge. So work on their skill, improve on yourself. And um, a big thing for me is also the heart. You know, you have to master, one, one, one of the teachers, you know, that I was working with said, you have to master the heart and the art of worship. So, you know, you, 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 you need to master that art and improve on yourself constantly. Um, and also your heart, you know, worship, it, it's not just like, like I said, ministry in general anyways, it's not, um, an easy thing where you can just walk into and say, I want to just do this. You have to really be called for it. And when God has called you for it, you have to constantly keep your heart and check. You know, it's um, it's not like every other career out there. It's not like every other work out there. This is something that has to do with giving God the glory. It's so easy for people to, you know, see you and they see what you're doing and then they keep giving you the praise and then you start feeling things that you should not be feeling and start taking God's glory. You have to constantly keep yourself in check. And remember that, you know, you're doing this, you're doing this for God and you want to get all the glory has to be for God. You don't want to be in the position like, you know, Lucifer was and, and, and ended up wanting to take rob God of his glory or, you know, finding himself equal as God. And then, you know, we know the end of the story. So um, master the art, master the heart. Make sure your heart is always in check. You're doing it for the right reasons. There are I mean, there are times, you know, you, you 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 um you receive a lot of praises you receive a lot of you know people telling you good things and compliments and then you start feeling somehow about yourself but you have to constantly remember to stay humble it's so easy to let pride come in the way but um i always i always by one of my prayers biggest prayers to god is father let my heart always remain a state of humility and um always remembering that i'm doing this for you if at any time you are doing it and you are not doing it for the right reasons, you know, it's about you and not God, then you have to refrain from that and restrain yourself and take a step back and reevaluate. So those two things are big for me. Do you have any connection with other, other music, uh, gospel artists in Cameroon? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, I'm very passionate about bringing um, gospel artists from Cameroon together. Um, I believe that unity is one of the ways that we can we can, um, you know, conquer and, and do great things. You know, one would chase a thousand and two would chase ten thousands. And so um, I alone by myself, I can do um, much, but if I partner with someone, if I, you know, work with the community, we can do great things. And so, um, like I remember Minister Onos from Nigeria, um, I, when she reached out to me, I wanted to do one of her brief concerts in, in Cameroon back in December of 2019, you know, um, I was able to reach out to uh, about three other musicians from Cameroon and say, let's let's work together on this and let's do this. Um, 
some of them I had never met, um, but, you know, I was just passionate about, you know, just bringing us together and doing great things. And so, um, yeah, I, I, I love, I love the connection and, and us and the community and us holding our hands and moving forward. And then hopefully someday, you know, um, people from Nigeria will be singing songs from Cameroon and people from Ghana and all over the world, you know, singing the songs that the Lord has placed in us across the nation, which is the story. Yeah, yeah, and I believe that your song, that yeah, that your song is uh, 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 is already is already out there, and I can tell you, you may not, maybe you have not come ac across people singing your song already, but I can tell you, people are singing your song already, and Amen. that's just already to let you know that it's out there, it's Amen. out there. The age we are in right now is a is a kind of um uh that far distance is being you know crushed into a, a, a small distance you can yeah. be that, 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 that far away and we can still be talking as if we are just just this 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 close and that your yeah. is always going all over and i believe you will soon see because there's a revival that is coming upon cameroonian gospel yeah. artists and gospel musicians uh, yeah. uh, 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 at this time which i know it's going to go it's going to go out all out there all yeah. out there all out there and uh uh with uh with with uh i'll say that what will you how will you say you have been coping being a mother uh an artist uh and uh, 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 you have another career as well apart from about a music ministry and uh, a wife all, all these things together how have we been coping you know god i always tell people god bless me with the most amazing husband in the whole wide world everyone has the second best i'll find he's the first best <laughs> so um uh he 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 is so supportive mr edmund Icon, god bless you so much for always being there um he's <laughs> he came into my life and just you know he helped push me even more. I thought I was very self-motivated. Then I met somebody who has a very excellent spirit and just wanted things to be done and done well. And, and so I'm so grateful to God for that. You know, um, he's very, very supportive, always pushing to do the best um, uh, and to do what God has called me to do. He says that, you know, he came into my life and I was already doing all these great things. If, if he was to sit down and then, you know, stop me from doing it when he meets God in heaven, what would he tell God that you know he 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 sent his servant and then he stopped him from stopped her from doing what God has sent? He said, No, he's not be that me that man. So he wants to rather make sure that you know I'm doing the best that I can. And so he's always there, very, very supportive. And, and you know, having a daughter, I mean, I, I only have one now, and I feel like, oh my God, the world is coming to an end. But I don't know how you're doing with the so many. I know first you have what five, four or five. Yes, I have five for them, yeah. Uh, I don't even know. I don't know how you you did it. You and the first lady. I don't know how you did it, but um, you know the sleepless nights and just you know being able to you know you, you want to travel. Life has to just you know change now and just I'm, I'm grateful to I have my sister here with me, my younger sister. And so um, like right now I'm doing this. She has the baby, so I'm grateful that you know I have all that support system. It's 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 challenging, but then I have people who um, are there to make sure that these things don't stop me from doing what God has called me. On the contrary, they want to make sure that they are able to help me and give me the time to do this, this work, so. You know why I asked that question? It's just because some, you know, I'm, I've, I've seen and I've met some people, many people, you know, that before they got married, they are firebrand, they are, they are motivated, they are, they, are, they are so much into so many things uh, that I know of one that, you know, even playing instrument, Mm -hmm. Singing, all that, but the moment they, they got married and uh, said, "I you know, I, there's no more. I don't have time anymore." And uh -huh. for some reason, they just they just stop. So there is no that. way that you can come. That's that's to tell you that your your, your music is always all, all over the place. <laughs> oh, we thank God. Yeah. So they, they just want to make sure. Uh, uh, I just want to. That's why I said. I, it, because it grieves my heart when I see people like that that have been doing yeah. well before they got married and they get married and they 
Yeah, yeah, where, 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 where's the, where's that passion right now? We just yeah, it's gone. Everything aside. Now, is your husband a musician or into music? <laughs> no, he actually. I, I think he, he, he was in the video, right? Yeah, he was there. He was he was in the video. That was a challenge trying to get him on there, but he finally <laughs> accepted to be on there. But <laughs> um, he one time he made a statement. He said that when God was taking the rip from him to make me, God took away all the musical talent and put it in me and left him with nothing. So, oh. <laughs> so, so he doesn't have any. He said he just he gave me all the music talent that was in him and God used it to make me so <laughs> so um no he doesn't sing he but he's very very passionate about like music um uh and and worship music in general so he, he he's very in love with that I guess that's why <laughs> maybe that's one of the reasons why he fell in love <laughs> with me um, but um when it comes to singing or no, he can't do none of that. He tries to play the drums at, at church from time to time, but that's about it. <laughs> he can't do any more than that. That's 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 okay. It, it mm. might not be it, it might not be a, 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 a singing yeah. musician, yeah. but it can be a music producer. It can be a big a, a music uh uh, uh motivate, motivate. A promoter. I I would say that he's he's and a great he, um, he would, yeah, promoter. Yeah, that's why you are still you are still. We are still out there, still doing yeah. all this. Because if you, yeah. if it's not supporting, and um, uh, maybe you, you won't have been able to do all if you are, and if you are doing it at all, it's going to be out of struggle because yes. you, are, you are fighting yeah. with some. some yeah, to fight and do so it. I, yeah. I, I just want to, I just want to thank him for for, for being a kind of a kind of a pillar behind uh, the, the back phone, the, 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 the people that work from the back scene and uh, from the back door and. Uh, uh, go, go, that's why that's why you can you can still stand. And I know that yeah. your daughter might not have any choice than to sing very soon. Oh, yeah, he, my husband says that she has to when she starts immediately. She can do anything. He's going to put her in music classes, vocal lessons, piano. <laughs> she has to play everything. He's like he didn't have the opportunity to learn this thing, so he has to make sure that she learns all these things. I'm like, okay. Wow. wow. <laughs> So yeah, that just that just the only thing. Now I, I I want to ask, with your music right now, do you have other people that you mentor? You've been sorry again. Now you are a musician right now. Yes, you are an artist right now. People, there are people that also look up to you. There are is that any other other people that you now you you. You are now mentoring right now as um to, to also you know get them out there yes yes um um you know personal knowledge and mentoring is something i'm very very passionate about <laughs> um so i was just i'm laughing because i was talking about this with uh one of my friends the other day you know um it was it was harder i would say for um me and some others that have been in music for um, you know this long because we really didn't have a lot of people to look up to the people we're looking up to were in nigeria or you know us or south africa we didn't really have a lot of you know people in cameroon that you know gospel artists people who have been doing it for a long time that we look up to so uh, it's it's so in my heart so dear to my heart that you know we're able to have people that they they have access to some of these people we really, i didn't have access to some of these persons that i really looked up to um so i'm very passionate about you know the younger ones those it might not be younger in age but then you know those who are just you know new in 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 the in the ministry you know having someone to look up to and and turn to i mean there's countless people who have reached out to me on how to get their first song or what to do or how to have an event or what you know just different things and i'm so grateful that god has placed me in the opportunity that i've gone ahead um you know it's been eight years <laughs> it might not be much but then you know it's 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 a, it's a while <laughs> you know that they have someone to look up to the other day one of um, someone i knew was calling me and asking me what they could do and i'm like just anytime you know you you have any questions just reach out to me i'm accessible you can't beat that, you know, having someone that you can call and talk to. I really didn't have a lot of that, you know, and so I'm very passionate about, you know, um, those who are new to this, 
calling me and and the, the knowledge that i have acquired so far um i'm very willing to always um share that information um with them you know because i because i went through so much um difficulties and challenges trying to trying to make it doesn't mean that you have to go through those those same rough roads and rough patches um yeah so yeah because uh, you know you guys are the um are the foundation uh, uh um artists that you know you know that god has used to kind of this yes. way for all that yes so uh, yes. Uh, you know uh, sometimes I, I call them as like a um, testing specimen. You know, we you 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 do you, they use you to also you know you 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 look into the world into the into this into the street and say okay we will roughen the the weather and make sure I just we just want to create the path for other yes. people to come. Other people to come through. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. other people that are coming, they just kind of they may not know. Uh, how how rough it has been because everyone yeah. still faces their own challenges. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, now that you are in that place already, you can just tell them you need to go this way and that mm -hmm. way. And that's yeah. why I just look at the mentorship thing that if you have people that you you are already mentoring and uh, yeah. uh, also people that you you know, um, I also suggest probably when once in if possible. If you can get all those, all, all those, uh, the, the Cameroonian musicians that you know already, that you have a relationship with, with yeah. uh, is, do you guys all, all also have any any kind of mind whereby either you organize programs yeah. here, yeah. event here, or in Cameroon, you know, oh, yeah. yeah, or a virtual, yeah. or a virtual program like that? Yeah, um, yeah, we do have, um, we have a few of those, and we are actually planning something really. Uh, more, more on a larger scale um, next year that we plan on, you know, like a conference where we we can have, you know, mentorship for, for those who um, are new into the ministry and who want to start up. So we, we have a lot of that that we have in the pipeline that we are planning. So we, we, we are looking forward to that, um, both here and also in Cameroon, a lot of it back home, you know, it's geared more for people back home. So we are looking forward to that. Yeah, you may mention uh, uh, Pastor Joyce. Yeah, Pastor right? Joyce was there. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, well, even though uh, I, I, I just, yeah. If Pastor Joyce does will not mind because you are on my platform right now, I would like to see your face. Just Pastor, <laughs> just, I introduce to you Pastor Joyce. Pastor Joyce was it on this platform. Amen. Amen. <laughs> yeah. I know I said, Pastor Joy. Pastor Joy, are you able to come on? Even if you you can unmute your mic and say something. So one of, I want I would like to hear from Pastor Joyce and see uh why why she's getting ready because I know probably she she's because she she she, she didn't get yes. Yes. come up like that. But I, I why she's still getting ready. I just want to ask you in in eight years, how many songs do you have right now? um officially released uh officially and on an official one. <laughs> um my goodness unofficially i would say it's over 40 that i that i haven't i haven't released but for the released ones it's over 11 12 now yeah they're about that i've released already Wow. Yeah, even twelve. Yeah, that I've already released, but then um, that I have not released. There's over forty songs that I'm I'm looking forward to opportunities to working on those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I I remember, and I know quite alright that there are some songs that probably you 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 had them when you are still kind of raw. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, yes. There's a lot of those. There's a lot of those, and I remember when I was even coming here, I had a whole. But now it's easy because of the digital digital age where you can record and save them. It's easier. Back then we wrote them in books. And so I, I remember that I have I have some ones that I re, I've written, then I can't remember the melody, but then I have the words because you know I couldn't match them. I can't I can't remember anymore. Uh, but then I also have a I have a whole list that my transitioning from Cameroon to here got got lost, unfortunately. And so, you know, those are some of the things that I have learned the hard way. You know that God gives you something and you 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 keep it very well. Um, 
one of there was one of the songs I always I, ha, I always say this you know to 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 music ministers it was one of the songs that the Holy Spirit had given me I wrote this song and I brought it to someone that I really look up to and I I said look at the song that I have it was so different and so unique um and it was I think the fact that it was so different made it made it hard for 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 the people I'd shown it to to really accept it like what kind of song is this why is it talking why is it why does it ha- why is it like this it was so poetic in the way i wrote the song um and then my age that time and and those type of songs were not very very popular and then i moved to the us and years later i heard a very popular american artist um singing a song that was it was so in line with what i had written um the way he wrote the song and everything mm. and and then I had lost the song and I, it, it was a big lesson to me because I remember I'm like, wow, when well, God called you with something and he gives you and then you don't do it and then he finds another person right away and, and gives that vision to that person. And then that song is so big now and everybody's singing that song. And I said, what if I had just, you know, listened to that spirit and followed my heart and recorded this song, this would have, this is what this song would have been doing. But then you know, someone downplayed the song to me and then I let it go. And then here I am, yes, they start hearing something very, very similar to what the Holy Spirit had deposited in me. And someone else sang it and it's everywhere. And yeah, if you get stuff like that, it's sometimes it's, you know, we have mentors here, we listen to them, but then you have to listen to the ultimate spirit in you, which is the spirit of God. You know, um, sometimes your mentors might not be right in telling you not to do something. Um, um, Ultimately, the spirit of God in you that should be the ultimate voice um and so that mistake i made and i i, I learned not to make that mistake again oh yeah you are, you're actually right and i i and I, I i just want to support you on that one and my senior sister you know everybody in my family my all my siblings oh well also oh, uh, every one of us sings because my father used to sing for uh he passed away this year oh and, earlier, and, I, and, I, and I remember you know uh, then we, we we formed a team singing. She would be the one to lead us. And uh, she had a song. Back in those days, we don't you know. We don't even remember that you have to register your song. If you, re- you register your song, those songs will, you not will not go away. Somebody singing, you still, you still claim it. So the ownership, unless the song turns to become unknown. Now the song we sang the song somewhere, and uh, people loved it and everything. Now the song is. Is out there. We don't. We can't even claim it. Oh we, wow! Why? Because people, you know, other people find it, and they just it, it, when the song is become unknown, you there's no way you can you can actually you can't trace it anymore. So yeah. that's just one one of those things. But yeah, uh, the way God is using you, you know, uh, that's why I said there are some songs that you have you had at your at your uh, at your rough time when you when you are still raw and uh, you still you have you still mind have mind of you know, bringing them to life. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, I do. Um, there's one of them. My husband really likes that, that particular song. And I'm, I'm working on, you know, re- rewriting it and, and, you know, making it much better than it was back then and um, eventually recording it sometime. Thank you, thank you so much. It's, it's nice having you on this platform. Okay. I don't know if, if, if Pastor Joe, Joy is ready for <laughs> us just to hear your voice. And uh, just a word, I just want to ask you a question on your collaboration with uh, um, Minister Pandita, you know, uh, are the kind of experience that you, what, what do you see in her that make you feel, oh, this, this one, this uh, young woman that I would love to work with. And um, maybe, maybe if you can get you right now, definitely I look forward to a day whereby we will get uh, to see you Okay. Oh, she, um, her audio is on now. All right. Yeah. yeah, you can come up now. Okay, hello. You're welcome, Mr. Joy. <laughs> Thank you so much. So um, I'm not sure exactly what the, whether the question is a general question or a specific one. <laughs> I, I, I'm just, I'm just asking you, uh, you know, um, because Minister Pandita mentioned you a lot, and uh, yeah. 
it's a privilege to have you on this platform. Uh, you must be a mentor. You must be uh, mm. a, a wonderful and dynamic woman of God, and definitely which uh, which has also inspired uh, inspired her to be where she is today. Now, looking back on that that uh, uh, testimony song, mm -hmm. and uh, I see that you, there's a kind of a collaboration in that in that music in which you you featured, and. Uh, yes. what, what kind of what what actually uh magnetize you if i will use that word uh to minister pandita what kind of thing that that actually attracts you to you know wow work together <laughs> work. oh my goodness <laughs> you know when i met pandita um uh, the first time I saw her, she was, man, she, she led worship and I was like, I want to be her friend. Um, <laughs> and, um, you know, when I got to know her, the bond even grew stronger. Um, I cannot really take credit for being a mentor in her life, but, you know, we've built a friendship over time that, you know, is more kingdom minded than it is, you know, normal. You know, every time people, you know, people make friendship for different reasons, but I believe that the friendship that I've built with her and the relationship that we keep building with her and her family, um, it's an honor for me. It's a privilege for me because she's so kingdom driven and, you know, she inspires me in so many ways. The song Testimony um, and the album we did was, man, um, how can I even put it? She does most of the work, but she gives me credit for everything. Uh, <laughs> but it's been an honor. It's really, truly been an honor just working with her. And I look up to her in so many ways. She says all the time that she looks up to me, but that's just her being humble and, you know, giving me more credit than I deserve. But I honor her and I honor her relationship with me. And I'm so glad that, you know, it's an opportunity. Since I met her, it's almost like we've known ourselves all our lives. Right, right. <laughs> so it's just been like what, three years? And on right, that? like three years, yes. On that even at this point. <laughs> right, so, you know, the song Testimony ministered to me as a person. She comes up with the most amazing melody tunes and everything. I try to match up with her with some lyrics. I try to match up with her with some lyrics, you know, so that we can be on the same page. But she's just running and going ahead and ahead and ahead. I'm trying to catch up with her. But she's an amazing lady and I really, really, truly, truly and honestly love her. Thank you so much, man. I, I believe, I, I believe definitely God will use both of you and all the many, many other gospel artists out there to actually liberate and bring, you know, the word of God more down to Cameroon and to all around the world. I, I am, I'm, I really enjoy this, uh, uh, today's uh, discussion. And I pray that God Almighty will continue to inspire you more and Amen. give more anointing upon your life Amen. in Jesus Amen. mighty name. I look forward to a, a time when we will we will we will, we will uh, uh, to we'll we'll, come to Utah. <laughs> you come to Utah. You come to you you both come to Utah and yeah. uh, and uh, we, we, we will we will have we will have we want to bring heaven down on her. Amen. 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 Uh, amen. I look forward to that day and it's going to be a wonderful time, a wonderful glory and glorious time in this land. Not only just only two of you alone, but the, the, uh, as much as gospel artists that we have in Cameroon. Yes, God, Mr. Emanuela, yes. God is, uh, is a God of all languages. Everybody, right. everybody will come down and we will bring, we, 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 we will shape the world with what God has given to us. It's a nice thing meeting you, meeting you again, uh, Minister Pandita, for Thank what you. God has been doing in your life. And also, um, for the first time meeting Minister Joy. And he, he definitely uh, is a privilege meeting both of you tonight, I mean today. And I believe this work will continue to go forward and forward in the mighty name of Jesus. Every, every, every gospel musician that's out there, 
and planning to do something this time, the Lord God Almighty will bless them, will release the unction to function upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. It's a privilege to meet you once again. Thank you so much. And give my regards to uh, the manager, the director, the, the uh, what, what else? What else would, 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 I know the best husband in the world. The, the, man, the, man, the, 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 yeah, the man behind the scene, and yes, also yes. our young, my, our young baby, uh, who is coming back to sing very in in a, in a very short time. Yes, uh, we look forward. Mm -hmm. We look for we congratulate with your family, and we pray mm -hmm. for more anointing in the mighty name of Jesus. For those mm -hmm. of you that are just watching, you have just we have just listened to uh, Minister Candita. And for and a ministry, you know, singing ministry, I just want to thank you for watching. Stay tuned, and uh, my, uh, in the next few, in the next fifteen minutes, I'm going to bring your way another minister, another minister of God of the gospel from Cameroon again, and we will be blessed. And until I see you again next time, God bless you. Remain blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you so much for staying for staying tuned, and God. God, God, we are really, really bless you. All right. See you again in Jesus' name.